not appropriate for your uh, Hey guys, welcome back. That's not my intro. That's not, who's it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jane, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we're talking about the ultimate Instagram starter. <coughs> Today, we're filming a Instagram starter kit guide. I feel like a lot of you guys out there have started from maybe the ground up, or maybe you don't know what to do and what you exactly need. We're gonna go over everything from material, tools, resources, techniques, marketing strategy, my, my favorite, and just everything you need to know to jumpstart your account, because a lot of you guys don't have much to work with, and this is a video for you if you're someone who wants to really grow their brand, take it seriously. And I'm actually joined here with the aesthetic king himself, Ryan X. Oh, it's my cue! Oh my god. Hey girl. How you doing? So I'm gonna let Ryan introduce himself. What's your channel? Well, my name is Ryan. I also have a YouTube channel. I'm also a very big fan of Instagram. I'm kind of like a really artsy version of Jade. Like, I really like the same thing. Exactly why I've decided to bring him on my channel because you guys actually asked me a lot for Jade posting tips, the content, like how to make it aesthetic, not just marketing. It's important. Stretch. I thought we would join forces, mesh together our knowledge on aesthetics. And marketing. The ultimate Instagram starter guide. Everything you need to jumpstart your brand in 10 days. Oh. Actually, funny story. So Ryan currently, we're in LA together. It wasn't a funny story. It was funny. I thought it was funny. I just saw Ryan on the street of Hollywood Boulevard, decided to just scare him and greet him. It wasn't him. funny. I probably scared a lot of people. So I just did a video on editing apps and I went through so many because I feel like there's so many apps that yeah. people always talk about. And I think that the best apps to get are Visco Cam, 100%. And then I think Snapseed, if you want to be a little bit more extra with it. I think Facetune comes in handy a lot, girl. And I actually think the step two product you need is to understand your brand identity. Having a brand identity for me is really simple. I kind of came up with this like little formula for you guys. Again, this is the only video you will ever need. A lot of those other Instagram gurus will not give you the truth like us, right, Ryan? Heck yeah. Here's three steps I use to kind of find my brand identity. One, theme. Okay, theme is a little, mm. it's a little difficult. Okay, that could be color. That could be your the filter, that could actually just be even the way you post and you know the orientation you do. Second thing for me is format. You know, what's your caption? What's your voice? How are you messaging yourself to be different than your competition? And the last thing, which is really important for me, is having a rule. You know, what's your flow? Like what it doesn't be anything strict, it's just what works best for you. So let's talk about the theme. Like how how the heck do you come up with a theme? Because I have always had that problem. I actually really like this idea now that we're getting into it because I feel like this is a question that I get a lot on my Instagram and on YouTube in general because I feel like it is the first thing that you need to know in order to actually like you know grow your Instagram. Right. So my thing with themes is I think a lot of people think that in order to have an Instagram theme it has to be like super specific and crazy and like three colors right. and like you can't post right. certain photos. It's complex. That is not the route to go down. I know that. I feel like in like 2015 it was a really big thing that really yeah. weird specific like things. But I think as for a content creator, having that is gonna set you back way too much. Right. Just the idea of like not being able to post something so it doesn't like match your theme is insane. It does come down to just inspiration, trial and error. I think that's so true. Like you don't have to copy anyone, and I think no. there's a bad th connotation with like inspiration because mm -hmm. you're like imitating the photo. But there's a difference mm -hmm. between imitation and you know kind of. Uh, inspiration, taking, yeah. and taking it into your own words. So what I really recommend, take your top favorite, let's say 10 influencers. Analyze why you like them, why you're attracted to them, and what they're doing. I used to sit and watch my favorite people just to analyze, you know, what they're doing, what time am I posting, you know, what poses are they doing, what's their flow. Um, and you can use that to actually find your own voice. Because a lot of the times, I said this on my channel one time before, but you guys know, like, you don't come out of the womb being original. You know, you learn from your mom no. and dad. You learn from the people around you. So surround people that you, you like and you genuinely have respect for. What's that one saying that's like, you're, you're a, you're a, you're, a, you're something of all the people you surround yourself with. Like you're a combination. Yeah, you're, What's the word? You're only as good as the people around you. Tying that in to, you know, the format. Okay. I think that with Instagram is it's kind of a combination of a lot of things. I think that you have more personal photos. Like on my Instagram, I have like really casual photos of me at like Starbucks. And then I have like super professional photos of me like at a beach. And I have like photos of like ice cream. Right. Like, and you also do long captions and shorter. And like mm -hmm. some of them are like mixed, so I totally see like changing it up too. Oh yeah, like you've done the same thing. Like you've had like really long captions, like meaningful stuff, and then you've had you know like shorter. So adding perspective that really helps people because if you're so narrow-minded, it's hard to give people this perspective on who you are. They're like yeah, it's kind of crazy with Instagram because you never really know what how your audience is gonna react to something. Like I literally posted a picture of ice cream. 
And it got more ice likes cream. than all And of it them. got like <laughs> so many more than I was expecting. I was like, that, why did my ice cream get more pictures than me? So the last thing in kind of brand identity is the rule. Like, is there a rule? What's the algorithm? Something that a lot of people would be curious of, and I'm kind of curious of too, right. is do you think that there's a certain time that people should post or a certain like a routine, a time or anything like that okay. that people should post? Like, do you think it matters? Because I don't know. Yes yeah, so no. Because think about it like this. There's not a select time. Everyone's different. There's not. However, the algorithm. There is a time. Is dumb. Right, and also you have to think about it. the algorithm is not chronological. Whenever you post, the, guys, you have to realize the reason why sometimes you go on Instagram and the first photo you see is like Sally or someone you recently interacted with. Typically, it's a friend, right? So you know, Facebook on Instagram. So they're saying like we don't want to promote any more posts that are sponsored or brands we want to do people that are friends to increase the user activity so basically you want to trick instagram the key with this little science is you want to trick instagram thinking that your followers are your friends not that they're not but sometimes we overlook about being one-on-one -on -one. so if you dm people like their photo instagram's gonna say oh they probably know each other in real life so let's promote their post so make sure you don't just do a thing where you say you blast a piece of content and you don't do anything reply to people like their posts stalk them literally just by stalking them instagram will take note put that into your database and be like yo let's promote them yeah i think also it's social media like just be social i think a lot of people on instagram they think that they can like hop on instagram and post one photo and then like not respond to any comments not do like anything something that i don't understand a lot with a lot of people on instagram is they don't respond to any comments oh they my don't, god like interact at all and I'm who do you like think you are um i think the last thing i talk about which is the most important thing none of this will work if you don't have the last thing which is the purpose and i think i tapped into this before a lot of you guys are gonna roll your eyes like oh my god jay this is so no okay this is super important you can't just do instagram i don't know do you think it's possible to just do instagram to just to do instagram be famous or do you think what's your thoughts on that i have a lot of thoughts on that my thing with that that if you're doing instagram or i guess inner social media just to gain followers you're gonna be so empty at the end of the day a sense of happiness like i don't I just, I don't get that. Like, what are you trying to gain from that? And that, like, if you want to just get followers, buy them. Yeah, literally. And stop complaining. If you're not, like, yeah, if you're not doing it for any reason, like, buy why them. do you care? Like, and, like, I don't know. And if you're complaining that you bought them or you bought follow and follow and you're not getting them, use that to fuel what you need to do, which is build a relationship. For the longest time, here's a tea, guys. I, last year, I, like, bought, I think, oh, God, I don't know. I know, I just found out about this? this. If you want to see more this? about ah! this tea. Okay, so I bought, like, I did follow and follow until, so from 0 to 5k I did follow and follow, from 5k to 10k I bought 5,000 followers. You bought 5,000? Um, and I'm not ashamed of it because I knew that's what I needed to learn. So if you guys need to start maybe doing random ass shit just to know who you are, um, if I didn't do that I probably would Are you telling them to buy followers? No! If you bought followers in the past, don't worry, a lot of you guys are thinking to block them. Just move on, stop dwelling on the past. Just try to focus on what's important, which is building an audience and bringing value. Um, another question really that, have you ever done the bot thing? Probably, yeah. The Automation. thing where it's like, what? because I've heard that apparently with models do it, but it's oh, like yeah, the, a bot thing where like your account or like other accounts yep, will yep, lead on that. Yeah. Did it do anything? No. So what it does for me is all these automation tools, if you guys are curious, will get you the number and it'll get you social proof. But however, it will not build any sort of relationship at all. You might get the like, but you'll never get the comment. I think it's just more of like a cool number on the screen rather than actually impacting people. So it depends what you guys like. Well, and I think also you like you're just gonna be empty at the end of the day because like you know in your head that like you bought them they weren't real. Like I know like at I'm first it's like too. one of the things I want you guys to take away from everything this video is you know how did you find your why because i think we're talking about you love we love social media so much the reason why we built this entire thing is to show our love and impact your lives because i think that when you are somebody that is in high school or at that age i think even being a creative person at all it's kind of like because obviously when you're in high school people talk about like college you talk about like all these other things and it is really hard when you have this like creative mindset and you want to do something that's different like obviously like youtube is different doing instagram is different for me like i was into like acting i was into all this other stuff it sucks when you're that age because it's like you don't relate to anyone you kind of do feel like a black sheep in that situation a big message that i want to share i know like you want to share too because we talked about it but that you're not alone out there i know it's so cliche to say no but no for real. use social media as an escapism to build a community you lacked in real life like it is so much it's such a blessing to just like have people who listen to me because in the real life it never and now people in high school are like wow Jesus, oh I'm yeah you. we talk about that too on my channel i just think if you guys are starting start for a purpose that's bigger than yourself 
you wanna, we, we do social, the reason why I created this channel to help you grow on social media is because I love it so much, it changed my life and I wanted to change yours. Um, and that's my bigger picture. I think the same thing, I think honestly, it's it crazy how much social media has changed my life and how it's got me through such a dark time and having that support system, like I, I can't imagine what it'd be like no, if no. I didn't have that. Um, and we just thank you guys for being here. If you're someone who has been trying to be on your social media journey, comment below your question in your Instagram at username. And honestly, create your little, let's create a little group guys and help each other out. I'm really inspired by you guys who have been commenting and networking like someone like also like dropped their Instagram one day and just made a little Yeah, group. comment your Instagram. You'd and be surprised because all of these people are in the same boat. Follow each you other, are. right? Yeah, and let's support each other because again, I think we should think about community over competition. It's super hundred percent, but 100%. we have to support each other. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the starter pack guide with Ryan. Go subscribe and check out our video below. Actually, tomorrow, like, so when we were filming this video, it was so hard to schedule. We finally got time to we're sit. Horrible at schedule. Honestly, together. I have a flight tomorrow to Paris actually, and I want to know if you guys are out there we're from Amsterdam. London or Paris, come and meet me! Oh, you come, you come, come, nice come. come and make some case. Alright guys, so Ryan's in this bag. We're about to head to Europe. As again, I'll put more official dates on my Instagram, so go follow that. Again, thank you so much for watching. Also, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one, obliterate the like button, and I'll see you next time. Follow me. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs>